Remember the dashboards? If these are the newest robots you can recall, then you've probably missed lots of exciting things. New maps, new battle modes, new robots, and a variety of new mechanics. War Robots battles became more complex and way more diverse. We'll help you get back on track in no time. Dealing damage in battle is not your only option. You can also immobilize your opponents, disrupt their weapon systems, and freeze their robots, making them vulnerable. There is also a whole new class of support robots that can repair allies. To complement these many new playstyles, we moved away from the old silver reward system based on damage only. Now we have a whole list of honor achievements. Earning any of these achievements in battle will reward you with silver when the battle ends. Pilots This feature changes the way your robot performs in battle. As pilots gain battle experience, they unlock skill slots. Choose skills that suit your playstyle. The traditionally skill for Falcon Robot, for example, makes it nearly indestructible at the expense of two of its weapon slots. With the introduction of pilots, we started to expand on War Robot's universe. Each pilot has a story. Read them to find out what's going on on Mars in the year 2142. Titans are way bigger and far more powerful than robots. You only have one Titan in your hangar, and to play it you will need to accumulate the Titan charge first. The effort is worth it. The sheer firepower and durability of these mechanical monsters can turn the tides of battle. Titans have lots of defense points. Defense points mitigate incoming damage. When fighting against Titans, you might want to opt for a weapon that ignores a part of target's defense. Think Hawk's Cannon, Gauss, Weber, Vault, or other Titan weapons. And finally, there are modules and drones. Active modules give robots additional abilities which you can use during the fight. Passive modules enhance robot attributes. Some of them provide abilities that trigger in certain combat situations. Last Stand, for example, makes your robot invulnerable for a short amount of time when the robot is about to be destroyed. Drones are your little combat helpers. You build drones to prepare for specific situations, like being hit by a suppression weapon. Each time you encounter those situations, you get an advantage over your opponent. The trick is in deploying the right drone for the right situation. Here you go, Commander! There is a lot more to talk about, but these are the key points. When you log into your hangar, consider recruiting some pilots from the training center first. Then check for modules. Repair unit will be selected as an active module by default. It's a safe choice. If you've already reached level 30, then your first Titan, Kid, will be waiting for you in your hangar. Give it a try. After you complete a battle or two, pay attention to the honor reward list. Honor brings you silver and other prizes. And finally, when you're comfortable with these new features, consider assembling a fine lineup of helpful drones. If you ever feel perplexed or just want to ask around about the game, feel free to join our lively community on Reddit or Discord. There are a lot of veteran players there, and they'll be happy to help a fellow commander. Welcome back and see you on the battlefield!